Okay. Well, I think we're ready to begin. So let's, let's start it. Well, where does one be to look? You there? Can look at me. I look at you. This is Catherine Scorsese, mother to this man, filmmaker Martin Scorsese. We may know her to be the epitome of the Italian American mother, and she is notorious for her source. But is this the real Catherine Scorsese? Can the nature of cinema ever truly capture the essence of a person? Martin Scorsese has been exploring this his entire career, specifically through the representation of his mother. This documentary is titled Italian American. On the surface, the film is about Scorsese's parents' life in New York. Their family's immigration from Sicily to America. But look closer. The film starts by stating this is a movie and not reality. Scorsese is already challenging the connection between reality and cinema. Does Scorsese believe that not even a documentary can reveal reality? On the surface, the film uses documentary conventions, like this. But that documentary reality is broken when we get glimpses behind the construction of that reality. Look at the way Scorsese leads the conversation. Yeah. I'll start from uh, his mother and the whole thing started all that. Well, I can well, they say it was a well, he was thing. from uh, his mother. He did. Look he, at how she is challenged. Talk the way you huh? talk to me when you talk to for your son. You're looking for a fight or something there. No. See, Marty, every time. Her husband suggests she is putting on a performance for the cameras. She is aware she is being filmed. She is aware of the structure of the reality that is being captured. That's kind different. Of what? But don't you want to you do? You broke it. What to? This? You're not supposed to talk. What? He's putting that in it too, which would do to your tooth. She is cautious about what is said and how she will be portrayed. No, don't, no, don't say that. Come on, that's the truth. No, Charlie, don't say that. She is embarrassed when she gets the facts wrong. Winding machine, that's too strange to do it. Not a habit. Don't tell me, because I made wine too. Look at what Scorsese does here. Stick them with her. He freezes the frame on his mother. She is put in a frame. Her reality becomes black and white. Andre Bazin has said that the capturing of a photograph allows for the transfer of reality from the subject to the photograph. A painting can only ever resemble reality. It can only ever be an interpretation of a subject's likeness. Bazin says even if the photograph were a distorted version of its subject, an out-of-focus version, it would still have more ontology of the subject than a painting would. This is connected to something that is more real than this. Does Bazin's theory apply to cinema, then? Or is the process of cinema like that of making a great sauce? You start with a tomato. You dice the tomato. In effect, the diced tomato is still a tomato. But once you turn it into a sauce and combine it with the noodles, it becomes something else entirely. But you still recognize that tangy, tart flavor of the tomato. It appears as though Scorsese is saying the filmic elements about the sauce. The uh, how, documentary how influence. Well, I'm supposed to be talking to you? You could talk to yes. me, you could talk to them. It doesn't the very process of capturing moving images does not allow for the transfer of reality. Scorsese's mother's portrayal in this documentary will only ever be an out-of-focus version of herself. Scorsese explores this to even greater depths when he places his mother in his fictional films to play characters that resemble herself. Her mother plays Joe Pesci's mother, and there she's making food for him, Robert De Niro, I think someone else. And Ray Liotta, yeah. And Ray Liotta, and it's so naturalistic. She's the same character 
Yeah. In Goodfellas, as we see. Yeah. Based on what we know, a subject in a film can only ever be an out-of-focus version of itself. It's scenes like this that are the most interesting. Completely improvisational. Like that of a documentary. But she is playing a role that resembles herself. It is as though she is painting herself. If photography is the materiality of cinema, and we can consider this to be an out-of-focus representation of his mother, then is Scorsese painting on photographs by placing her in subjective, fictional, painted worlds, playing characters that resemble herself. Does Scorsese believe that all cinema is fictional then? That there is no distinction between documentary and fiction? Cinema can never transfer reality from a subject. Is that why he ends the film with this scene? Now that's enough for today, Marty. His mother believes okay, the cameras good. have stopped rolling. We are seeing a glimpse of who she really is. She is no longer influenced by the documentary elements, the construction of reality. Make me say thing like that. Is he still taking this? But not all of these assumptions are true. And the proof of that resides in the sauce. Stir the sauce. I watched my mother make sauce. Come and show you how I make the sauce. A few spoonfuls of tomato. Look here. She halts the scene breaks the reality and her performance to go and check on the sauce. Yeah, I want to stir the sauce. I want to stir the sauce. You want to what? Stir the sauce. This is what Scorsese is interested in the most. The process of breaking down the cinematic construction of reality to finally translate reality into cinema. Scorsese said in an interview, it's those moments when the defences are down, where actors get so comfortable that they really let themselves show, that are so precious. That's what I discovered when I made Italian American. And that's what I'm always trying to find with actors in a dramatic film. You may not have trust in cinema to reveal reality. Any form of truth and reality may appear to be opaque and unattainable. The mutated reality in cinema can only possess cornerstones to our reality. But always remember, the truth is in the source.